methods of analysis of selected instrumental music pieces of the Sonnleitner collection of Tyrol. If one tries to get hold of sheet music of various musical compositions, no matter which genre nowadays, it's probably easier than it was 200 years ago. While today, thanks to the internet, one can access various databases of sheet music. With libraries that are provided online, the question arises as to how 200 years ago sheet music was collected, how the collected material was processed and stored, and who was responsible for it. This also raises the question of how the collected pieces are analyzed. I would like to get to the bottom of this question in my talk using Josef Sonnleitner's folk song collection undertaking, which was initiated in 1819 as an example. On the basis of this collection, selected pieces of instrumental music will be analyzed in more detail. Now briefly to the structure of my talk. First of all, I will deal with the Sonnleitner collection of the Gesellschaft der Musikfreunde itself. In doing so, I will briefly discuss the following aspects. Who was Josef Sonnleitner? How did he proceed with his undertaking? Which geographical areas were included? And were there already other comparable endeavors before the Sonnleitner collection? Likewise, the question of the rediscovery of the Sonnleitner collection will also be discussed in this context. In the case of selected instrumental music pieces, I will show you some peculiarities and point out some methods of analysis. In 1819, the first semi-official folk music collection, the so-called Sonnleitner collection, was initiated in the Austrian crown lands of the Habsburg monarchy by the secretary of the Society of Friends of Music in Vienna, Josef von Sonnleitner. Briefly to his person. He was born on March 3, 1766 in Vienna and died on December 26, 1835, also in Vienna. He was, among other things, a court official, theater secretary and libertist. For his collection enterprise, Sonnleitner made use of official channels in order to more easily achieve the desired results. To do this, he first needed the signature of the Land Marshal of Lower Austria and President of the Society of Friends of Music Landgrave Joachim Egon von Fürstenberg. This was initially sufficient to give the project an official character. The decisive permission to carry out the project, however, came from the then Supreme Chancellor and Minister of the Interior, Franz Josef Graf von Saurau. Saurau held several officials and was willing to have the project carried out for cultural political reasons. The guidelines drawn up by Josef Sonnleitner were forwarded by Landgrave Fürstenberg to the Ministry of the Interior. The following materials were sought. First, profane folk songs arranged only for the singing voice. Second, the corresponding text as complete as possible, especially the older ones with notes regarding the region in which are mostly sung. Third, Melodies of the national dances, especially those that are performed as at special festivities, weddings or funeral ceremonies. Fourth, church songs that have been preserved for many years. Fifth, knowledge of the names of the promoters of music in order to be able to enter into direct correspondence with them. The call and the guidelines for collecting were sent to the district offices of the provinces of Tyrol, Illyria, Dalmatia, Styria, Upper Austria, Lower Austria, Bohemia, Moravia and Silesia. Within the scope of this talk, we will focus exclusively on submissions from the Tyrol. 
In general, it must be said that Sonnleitner's interest in musical folk life at the beginning of the 19th century was not unique. The collection activities were in the spirit of contemporary Europe and were not limited to the Alpine re region. At the beginning of the 19th century, Achim von Arnim and Clemens Brentano published their song collection Des Knaben Wunderhorn, 1805 to 1808, in three volumes, and in 1807, the song collections, the song collection Stimmen der Völker in Liedern by Johann Gottfried Herder was published posthumously. Also to be mentioned in this context are the folk song collectors Franz Tischka and Julius Maximilian Schottky. Both went on a research trip to southern Lower Austria in 1807-1808 to collect Austrian folk songs and fairy tales. In 1819 they published their book Österreichische Volkslieder mit ihren Singeweise. Tyrol has also been inspired by song collection for a long time. Thus, already at the beginning of the 19th century, the country judge Johann Strolz, born in Strass, collected some folk songs with he, which he published in 1807. After Sonnleiter's endeavor, the submissions were merely given archive numbers, but the members of the Gesellschaft der Musikfreunde did not comment on the contents of the collection or publish any of the musical material. It was not until 1913, almost 100 years yet later, that the then archivist of the Gesellschaft der Musikfreunde Eusebius Manduk Tsevaki drew, drew Raymond Zoda's attention to the archive and thus the Sunlighter collection was rediscovered. Zoda strove to make parts of the material, material known and published some dances and songs from it. He was himself a teacher and elementary school director in Vienna from 1901 to 1931. However, he retired early in order to be able to devote himself entirely to folk music research. It was not until the anniversary year 1969, 100 years and 50 years of folk song research in Austria, that Leopold Schmidt, who was a folklorist, at the Academy of Music and Performing Arts in Vienna suggested that a catalog of the Sunlighter collection be compiled. Walter Deutsch and Gelinde Hofer followed, Sch followed Schmidt's initiative and published the first systematic arrangement of the collection in the book Die Volksmusiksammlung der Gesellschaft der Musikfreunde in Wien in 1969. In October 2001, the catalog was revised by Friederike Jarianka. The Tyrolean and Vorarlberg submissions comprise a total of 276 musical recordings, of which 119 are songs and 157 are instrumental pieces. The holdings are indicated in the systemation of Deutschhofer under this shelf mark. The entire holdings of the Sonnleitner collection are now in the archives of the Gesellschaft der Musikfreunde in Vienna and can be viewed there. The collection from Tyrol and Vorarlberg can be divided into a total of five geographical areas Pustertal, Bozen, Trento, Imst, and Bregenz. The Sunlightner collection contains songs and instrumental pieces for a wide variety of occasions. There are, among others, Christmas songs, inn songs, wedding songs, school songs and songs for church celebrations. On various holidays and on occasions like Christmas, Easter or Whitsuntide, songs were sung and played. Among the instrumental music pieces, there are German dances, minuets, rondi, vendla, waltzes, marches, and contradances. Songs and pieces for guitar, organ, violin, bass, swell, clarinet, and piano were sent to Vienna. The collection from Tyrol and Vorarlberg is thus characterized by a wide range of instruments. In the following illustration, the places from which songs and pieces have been preserved are shown in green. 
The order is based on the listening in the catalog of Deutsche Hofe from 1969. Songs and instrumental music pieces were sent in the were sent in from the following places. Brunneck, Dietenheim, Daufers, Mühlbach, Michaelsburg, Toblach, Niederndorf, Welsberg, Bozen, Ritten, Klausen, Kastel, Meran, Bad Schins, Lienz, Asling, Einet, Imst, Ehrenberg, Nauders, Trient, Regens, Lustenau und Montafon. The communities highlighted in red on the map received reply letters but no songs or pieces. Schwarz was contacted by the archives of the Gesellschaft der Musikfreunde, but neither the Tyrolean provincial archives nor the archives of the Gesellschaft der Musikfreunde in Vienna contain a letter of reply or songs or pieces. Schwarz thus remains the only one of those circles marked in red without a letter of reply. In the following, some instrumental submissions are listed and analyzed. In the instrumental submissions of the Sonnleitner Collection of the Roll, 118 pieces have no instrumentation. The occasion of the performance as well as the instrumentation can be partially reconstructed by comparing other pieces from the Sonnleitner Collection. In the following section, some pieces from the collections are, pre are presented and their musical characteristics are shown. A total of 17 German dances have been preserved from Kastelrud and Meran. Like the entries from Clausen, they are notated in unison. If one compares the handwriting, it can be assumed that the dances all originate from the same scribe. The title page of the submission only reads dances, with no indication of instrumentation. It is interesting to note that each individual dance is different and distinguished by its own structure and musical line. A large part of the dances, namely number 4 to 13, are in 3-4 time, while dances, while dances number 14 to 17 are in 3-8 time. Dances number 2 and 3 are in alla breve, and dance number 1 is notated in 2-4 time. If we look at the keys of the dances, we can see that, that dances number 1, 3 to 6, 8, 11, 13, 17 are in G major. Dances number 2, 7, 10, 12 are in D major. And dances 14 to 16 are in C major. The pieces mentioned were sent by the school teacher and organist Matthias Bloner. As a further example for analysis, we now look to a completely different corner of Tyrol, namely to Niederndorf. 
from the community of Niedendorf not only songs but also instrumental submissions with a note of the name have been preserved. In the case of the submissions of the six Ländler for violin, Violino Primo, there is a note on the title page that says Composé Michaele Kramer, Organist zu Niederndorf in Gustadal 1819. As can be seen from the estate of the church chore in Niederndorf, the organist Michael Kramer left varying notations on his compositions. Kramer left a large collection of sheet music in the music archive in Niederndorf, in which he appears as a scribe as well as a copist. His life can be traced through the name notes along with their dates. In 1817, Kramer was an organist in Absom. On the basis of the six Ländler sent to Vienna, it can be traced that he later worked as an organist in Niederdorf around 1819. In Niederdorf he composed mainly sacred works such as masses, offertorios and litanies. On his copies and compositions he left, in addition to the title, extremely precise instrumentation information. Now let's go into the details. All six Lenda are written in 3-4 time. The Lenda number 1 and 2 are in the key of C major, number 3 and 4 in G major, and number 5 and 6 in F major. Scriber's precise dynamic indications in the Lenda are striking. Forte and piano. Formally, the pieces form two 8-bar periods with repetition. Among peculiarity of the Lendler number 2, number 3, number 4 and number 5 is that they end in two voices in the final sound. If we look at Lendler number 1, the first 8 bar period is in the dynamic indication of forte and the second 8 bar period is in piano. Lendler number 2 is characterized by numerous staccato indications of Lendler number 3 by a chromatic motif. Lendla number 4 and 6 each begin with a triplet upbeat. The special feature of Lendla number 5 is a graced note in bar 4. Lendla number 1 in C major consists of the triads of the first degree C major and the fifth degree G major. Likewise, Lendla number 2, in which briefly the fourth degree F major in bar 12 makes an appearance. In Lendler number 3, the first degree C, G, G major and the fifth degree D major are found. In Lendler number 4 consists mainly of degrees first G major, fourth C major and fifth D major, or with added seventh. In Lendler number 5 and Lendler number 6, the first degree F major and the fifth degree C major partly also with the seventh chord would suffice for a harmonic embellishment. The six Ländler were written by Michael Grama, an organist active in the Niederdorf parish. Another example of instrumental music from the Sonnleitner collection of Tyrol is South Tyrolean district of Ritten. From the correspondence concerning the Sunlight collection, it can be seen that among the music promoters of the district written, ein Kirchenzug nebst einem Tafelstück und zwei deutschen Tänze, a church procession along with a table piece and two German, German dances, were sent in by Franz Überbacher, the organist in Lengmoos. The new organist at Langmoor's Überbacher shows himself deserving of promotion in music among the peasantry. These four instrumental pieces are the pieces number one, Kirchenzugsmarsch, Tafelstückel, Deutscher Tanz and Keraus. All pieces are noted in score form. The entires two to four are in the same instrumentation of two violins, bass and swell. The Kirchenzugsmarsch is played with the same instrument but without the swell. The entireties 1 and 2 are in the key of D major in Alla Breve. 
the bees are mostly noted in two voices at the end of a musical phrase. Number one is headed maestoso. The first period counts eight measures, the second has only seven measures. The melodic line of the first and second violins runs in parallel thirds. The second period, the first violin plays triplets in the melody, measures 10 to 13. In the following audio sample, Kirchen zu Smarsch, the instrumentation has been rearranged for a wind ensemble. On the basis of the examples presented, it becomes clear that instrumental compositions can be analyzed and musically described in several ways. First of all, one can easily determine the key and the time signature. In addition, it can also be determined whether the piece is written for one or several voices. The tempo and the instrumentation, if available, are also important. Another aspect that should always be taken into account are the musical figures that appear in the pieces of the Sonnleitner collection of Tyrol. These can mostly be stated by degrees, mainly by an interaction of tonic, first degree and dominant fifth degree. In the triads there is often a seventh in the fifth degree. Furthermore, there are special features in the motifs of the dances handed down in the Sonnleitner collection. Here, chromatic and triplet features, features are to be mentioned. In the case of polyphonic pieces, as is, as is the case with the church procession of March from Britain, the voice leading can also be analyzed. Here, a parallel voice leading between first and second violin is evident. Thanks for your attention.